So what do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhinoceros? Elephant, I know. We've been a little bored these last couple weeks. Um, I think everybody's getting stir crazy from being home and staying safe. Uh, but we've been very busy here at the farm. Um, behind me, you can see, we'll look a little closer. Um, we have the market garden farm stand started with all of our tomato plants, pepper plants, broccoli plants, flowers, um, and it's going very well this year. We're really excited. And we have um, our chickens are set up in their display coops and we're going to show you that and then we're going to head down to the greenhouse and show you uh, T-Rex's latest project. Uh, we have another hydroponics one because those seem to be very popular um, and we're already harvesting from our hardware hydroponics. We've had two dinners with green leaf lettuce and two Chinese bok choy uh, stir fry dishes. Uh, so very, it's very exciting. So let's go on a tour. All right, so this is our market harvest wagon. I'm not sure what we've decided to call it yet. It's a display place for all of our amazing vegetable plants that we started indoors. Maybe we'll do a how-to transplant later. Um, but this, we've got our hanging baskets that are just delightfully gorgeous. And as I, I'm going to come up here and show you that this wagon also seconds as a greenhouse. So at night, we don't have to close everything in. We can simply close the sides. And I'll come back and put that back up. But we can close the sides so that uh, they stay warm overnight. And more of our hanging baskets. Aren't they pretty? We're really excited with how they came out. And then on this side, we've got all of our geraniums and our pepper plants. They've been very big sellers. We did tags this year. We got permission from Seed Savers to use their uh, photos and we just laminated cards. So, and then we've got our Crow Canyon items on our website that we're working on getting everything added. T-Rex made these little baskets so that people can shop. The cute little leftover scrap baskets um, that if people want them for a dollar, they're more than willing to pay that and it helps us get rid of some of the scrap wood. These are the harvest baskets we make. Very nice. You can find those on our website meffordendeavors.com we've revamped it entirely that was one of the things that we did over the past couple weeks so this is the other one we're going to walk down here and years ago we owned a sign shop uh, it was called Nina Signs but more because we didn't ever want to pay for the cost to make signs because a sign like this um, you know, you're looking at $40, $50 for somebody to make you that, and it just took us a little bit of time. It didn't cost us hardly, maybe $5 in materials. These are some of our chickens. We have two, we have a, two Seabrights, and then the rooster, who's really pretty. I don't ever remember what he's called. So we moved these cups these coops up from down below and you'll recognize our silkies from the other videos they're very happy very pretty and then we added this what a nifty idea because people come from all over and now they can give us a quarter and they can come and feed the chickens anytime they want. Um, and it's been a huge hit with the little kids and it gets people talking. Um, so we've always wanted to have a little vending machine. So as we head down to the greenhouse, a couple other changes we made. Uh, we've talked before about how wet the ground gets. So we moved our ducks up here. They've, we just moved their coop today. 
they got their little swimming pool in a little bit drier area so that they can free range up here and into the garden. Uh, this is the other one. We made yet another greenhouse. We didn't anticipate that we were going to have quite so much and our greenhouse is actually too small. So we built a, a trailer greenhouse and we've got here, I don't know if you can see the setup. This is our original greenhouse that we used for the last five years. And in here we have all of our tomato plants that are doing phenomenal. We've got some tobacco that we started, which was a new thing for us. It's doing really well. I don't know if you can... Here, maybe... Yeah, there you go. You can see it there. Um, but everything's doing great. And this is an order that somebody had, so we have it set aside. And then we're going to go over here to the greenhouse. All of the plants are outside, so it looks roomy, but oh my heavens, it got really, really tight in here. So these are more of the tobacco that we started. Um, we're starting to get a little interest in them. This is the camellia, camellia that we grew. It's a tropical plant. It's absolutely loving it in here. Um, it, we've even got some blossoms right there. Very exciting. What's left of our geraniums, some herbs, and here's a quick shot at our hydroponics. We restarted this side just recently and this is all our lettuce that's going to be harvested this week. And we've got a whole nother set of transplants because we sold out of tomatoes. Now the really awesome thing... Hey T-Rex, how's it going? You want to give us a quick update on your tomatoes? So we have a few years ago we bought some Dutch buckets. Do you want to show the ones behind? Oh yeah. This is one of the last systems that I bought. As you can see, the tomatoes are taking over. They have fallen and are growing back up. They are plenty alive and going. So in the past, we had, had, we had bought some Dutch buckets that we never used. So this year I was able to get them going. And if you look down here on the ground, the big pipe is just a drain. And when I spaced them, I spaced them a little too close. But then I thought I could use that space, and I built these things, which are my design. Um, it works exactly like a Dutch bucket, it's just smaller. And I'm hoping that those do good with the kale in between the tomatoes. Uh, they seem to be very happy so far. And we're going to do, we're going to, we had to rush to get these put in because the tomatoes were overgrowing the smaller system. So T-Rex is going to do an entire video on this Dutch bucket system. But I, I also wanted to show, if you've watched any of the other videos, you can see the wire shelves we have here. Um, they folded right down. Five, yep. Five screws, six screws, and the whole thing came right down. Yep. So it swings. I don't. Don't. It's got a hose on it now. So we were able to lower that so that there's going to be room for these to grow up this string that goes all the way up. So be on the lookout. Make sure you're subscribing. Um, I'm going to come back to T-Rex here. T-Rex, do you know what our count is so far on our website, or the subscriber count? Subscriber count this morning was 9,095, which means uh, just a few days after we hit 10,000, we're going to draw for some stuff. I, there was a basket up front. I don't know if Nina captured that. That's one of the things we're going to give away. Uh, that garden basket is highly sought after, uh, very well balanced. If, once you own one, you'll know that you need two. Um, I have some of my originals in here. They're still still in service. So uh, we have giveaways that are going to happen. you got to send us a postcard. We've only got a handful right now, so some handful of people are going to get a lot of booty. So we need some more postcards, and I'll put the address at the end. Um, we will uh, 
I'm going to leave you with uh, some flowers and uh, y'all take care and we'll talk to you again. Aren't they beautiful? We're almost sold out. Gorgeous.